I don't know if we're going to do it today. It might be a little too late. I kind of let the, the clock get away from me. But I brought in a bag of uh, some produce here. Okay. All right. I'm going to hold this up to MJTV. Do you have any idea what those are? Yeah, Fester? that's not produce. Is that the test for me and Fester? Didn't that's you not say produce. No, this, this is produce. Uh, okay. Well, I, okay. I, I know exactly what that is. Uh, this is produce. What are they like? Dude, this, I, I'm holding okay. up. All right. It's a vegetable. Yeah. They're, can I say what, what, what they you, are? What you, I always think you, produce is fruit. What do you think? What are you talking about? Produce is fruit and vegetables. Is that a uh, what? A Carolina Reaper? No, this is a habanero. A habanero. habanero. This is just your standard habanero. Okay. okay. Great. Why did I go to Publix yesterday? And guess what? You know how much money I have in these habaneros? I've got two habanero peppers. They're orange. I'm holding them up to MJTV right now. If you're watching MJTV, woo! I don't want to put these in my eyes. That that won't be pleasant. Oh. All right. So I'm holding up two habanero orange peppers. You know how much money I have in these? What do you think? Uh, buck and a quarter? No, you're you're way over. You just you just failed. You just failed. Uh, yeah, you just failed. These two peppers were forty cents. Okay. Both of them were forty oh, cents. Yeah, I mean peppers aren't terribly expensive. That's the bargain of the week at Publix. Forty cents for two habaneros. You have to eat habaneros right. though. So why did I bring in habanero peppers? I don't know why. I want to do a test with you guys. I had another one of these little videos uh, pop up in uh, my doom scroll on Instagram. There's a guy on there saying that uh, research has shown that if you slice habanero pepper and shove it up each nostril, (laughs) it increases your uh, memory. So, yeah, you go through a whole list of words and you do a test. (laughs) How how many words can you remember? You know, like dog, man, camera, TV. You Listen, know, whatever it was. You stick a pepper in my nose. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. I'll remember two words, and the first one starts with F. <laughs> oh, believe okay. you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you wait. take your peppers so, right now. So did I spend forty cents on these peppers for nothing? I are did. you, are you Ma- telling me that uh, nothing's going to come out of this? Maybe you can make yourself a nice chili this evening or something, and dice it and slice it and put oh, them in there. Come on, guys. So yeah, I, I want to slice these peppers. Yeah. I want to have you guys shove one slice of habanero pepper up each nostril. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to give you a list of words. I'm going to do it first without the peppers up your nose. And then we're going to jam the peppers up your nose. And apparently, when you jam habanero peppers up your nose, it increases your memory capacity. You can remember a string of words better than having non peppers jammed up your nose. You're on your own on that one, buddy. I saw an article that if you take a habanero and you keister it, you actually become an expert at geometry. (laughs) So uh, let's try that with you afterwards. Blowing flames out your butt. (laughs) It's like House of the Dragon. House of the Butthole. (laughs) I'll take the habaneros, man. I mean, I'll make a chili out of them, but I'm not going to stick them anywhere. Uh, Come on, Rhaenyra. Hey, go... (laughs) <laughs> Come on. So you guys are out? We're out. Oh, that's that's, that's, that's a hard pass. Oh, Michelle thought this was great. Hang on a minute. Michelle thought this was great. Yeah. Uh, listen, Michelle is free to oh, stick man. any produce Come anywhere on. she wants on her. What's the matter with you guys? We're just no fun. You guys are you guys are content poopers. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know. Well, we would literally be pooping it out if you had a, if you had us do the keister one. Hello? Michelle, are you listening? Hello. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. All right, everything all right? Yeah. All right. So are you listening to the show? You all dazed and confused. Dazed and confused. That's what I thought. Have you been sticking habaneros in places on your body or something? No. Is that what you're sending him? I, I, I told Michelle about this last night before I went out and got the peppers, and Michelle thought this was a very funny idea. Uh, Michelle, they're they're both bailing. Uh, Fester <laughs> and Roxanne will not shove the no. habanero peppers up their nostrils. No, bailing is when you've agreed to something uh, and, then well, you, well, and then you and then you don't do it. We've say, never agreed. What do you say, Michelle? I guess it's up to you. I mean, sometimes yeah. you have to do the heavy lifting around here, MJ. I gotta so, tell you. So I'm gonna have to what test myself, Michelle, yeah. to Did see you... if my memory is increased by shoving. By the way, can you look up the Scoville units? Yeah. What is the hotness? Uh, the hotness of a pepper is measured by the Scoville unit, and it looks like the hotness on a habanero is between 100,000 and 350,000. Can you bring up a chart? Yeah. Because I want to see, relatively speaking, what the... uh, So the Carolina Reaper 
Yeah, the Carolina, the Carolina Reaper is uh, one million four hundred thousand to two million two hundred thousand Scoville units. Those are heat units, and that's like debilitating. Yeah, I got. And so you know, as I just said a moment ago, the Habanero is ridiculously lower. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, problem. I mean, it's a spicy pepper, but it's not. Yeah. I mean, it's hotter than. It's much hotter than a jalapeno. Yeah. The, the Carolina Reaper, I guess, is at the top. Then you got the Trinidad Scorpion. Then you got ghost pepper. You got a chocolate habanero. All right. Mm. Uh, if you put a bell pepper up your nose, that has zero heat units. That's not going to work. Yeah, I, I diced up some nice red and green bell pepper yesterday. Mm. I made uh, my, my Fiesta Conk stew again. Man, it's so good. I uh. bought, I bought like uh, I, I, maybe like two pounds of conk yesterday. Mm. And I, you know, I stripped it. I took, you know, all the dark stuff off. You want yeah. to end up with just total white meat. You want to take the shell off yeah. and everything. And then, you know, onions, garlic, uh, yeah, red you, pepper, green pepper. The I, I put some carrots in there. Uh, what else? Uh, celery. What what I miss? Yellow pepper. The part where you beat your meat. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, Michelle. Oh found a meat beater for me, and I'm beating my meat yesterday. So you're just beating your conk? Yes, I'm beating my conk. Oh, my God. I was beating my conk for about half an hour yesterday because you want to. I, I pounded my conk. You're just smashing um, your conk. I and smashed my conk. And you, you ate your conk. I, I, I oh, my yeah, God. I, I, I put, my, put my conk on one of those uh, booze wood. I'm kind of getting into the wooden cutting board deal more. Really? Because of all the microplastics that you cut up on the plastic cutting yeah. boards. Uh. I mean, that's, a, that's really a deal. That if you're doing a lot of slicing and dicing on those plastic cutting boards, you're getting a lot of plastic shavings and microplastics yeah. in your food. That's you're funny. using a sharp knife, so, yeah, yes. I'm, I'm trying to go more into the, the wood uh, blocks for cutting now. And I, I took out my booze, B-O-O-S. You've seen those booze blocks? I took out a nice booze block, and uh, I put my conch on the booze block. So my conch's on the block, and then I took the hammer, and I started beating my conch. So I'm beating my conch, and you know, then I'm pounding my meat. So it's very nice and tenderized. Right. And then I added the conch to all of the – and you know, there's ketchup in there. There's uh, okay. whole, whole tomatoes, Worcestershire sauce, salt, sugar. Man, I'm telling you, conch stew is is delicious. Put it over some white rice. Oh my God, it's fantastic. Michelle won't uh, eat my conch. No. no. Mm. Why not? It's gross. Why would you put Why would you put my conch in your mouth? I don't like seafood. Yeah. Anyway, but she watched uh -huh. me beat my meat for uh, you know for about for a good while. Yeah, about <laughs> half an hour. Yeah. Yesterday. Hey, you should put that on OnlyFans. Yeah. You could be an OnlyFans content creator. Yeah. <laughs> beat, beat my conch on OnlyFans. Yeah. If, if your handle is MJ the Conch Beater. No, but Michelle found this meat tenderizer, and it's like a, a weighted spatula. It's like the shape of a spatula, except it's a big chunk of stainless steel. So, so it was really good, really, really delicious. So I made some delicious conch uh, fiesta stew. And it's if you just uh, search conch fiesta stew, the recipe comes up. It's like an all recipes website or something. It's really, really good. So people can say, hey, what's, what's your recipe for the conch stew? Well, Go to uh, you know Google. Just type in Conk Fiesta Stew, and and the recipe will come up.